Kathy Barnett, a Republican candidate for the U.S. Senate, won a non-binding uh, poll of Republican leaders in the northwest part of the state this weekend. And as political editor John Delano reports, Barnett hopes to make history by becoming the Senate's first Republican African-American woman. While most African-Americans identify with the Democratic Party, Kathy Barnett does not. Her book, Nothing to Lose, Everything to Gain, Being Black and Conservative in America, lays it all out. Looking at the Black community as a Petri dish of what happens when Democrats come in and take control of everything. And what you find when you walk into most predominantly Black communities is that Democrats leave them broke, broken, and bruised. They leave a train of chaos. Barnett, a Montgomery County mother of two who ran unsuccessfully for Congress and is a popular commentator on certain cable news stations, says she grew up poor, but never a victim. No one ever told me because I'm black, because I'm a woman, because I'm poor, all the odds are against me. And because no one ever gave me a psychology of lack, I became the first in my family to go and finish college. I spent 10 years in the U.S. military. In a race for the Senate Republican nomination, Barnett calls her three fellow Republicans who recently moved into the state to run, Dave McCormick, Carla Sands, and Mehmet Oz, quote, carpetbaggers. And she adds, We don't need to send another rich person to D.C. to represent our interests or, or how many jobs you've exported from America over to India and China. That should not be the litmus test of whether or not your friendship with Oprah Winfrey or Michelle Obama is really tight. Barnett, who has won support from many Republican committee people in the state's regional party caucuses, says the average Republican voter won't be fooled. And I don't believe they're going to fall prey to plastic smiles and glossy commercials. I think they're really paying attention. Barnett is trying to make history. The Republican Party in this state has never nominated a woman for a Senate, let alone an African-American woman. She says she's hopeful to become the first. John Delano. KDKA News.